Today I'm going to show you guys how to correct red skin in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter at Flurn. We make learning photography and Photoshop fun and easy and fun and easy. Today we got a really cool tutorial for you. It's basically what we're doing is we're canceling out a problem that you see all the time and you probably see it in my face. People have redness in their skin. It tends to show up like in their cheek areas, like right around, you know, your nose here, in the eyes, under the eyes and like on, on the front of the nose and things like that. And this is, it, you're going to see it in many, many portraits and the, sim the fix is actually really simple. So that's what we're going to be going over today. But this is, it's applied to this image, but you can use it in pretty much just about any of your images. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Cool. So the image we're working with today is James Bennett. And uh, this is actually a portrait he shot of his father, which is, it's an amazing portrait. It's really, really well done. And uh, th it's so great. There's only just a little bit of, you know, the redness in his nose is just bothering me a little bit. So the quick fix is actually like, it's not that hard, but I'm going to show you guys how to like identify how to select the red out and then get rid of it. So to do so, we're going to grab an adjustment layer. I'm going to go up to hue saturation. Now, a hue saturation adjustment layer, if you just grab this hue slider and bring it left or the right, you're going to affect the entire picture, which in this case is not what we want. So we're just going to undo that. What we want is to figure out how to select just these reds. Now, there are a couple of ways to go ahead and like figure out how to select reds. Like if you go over here where it says master, you can say reds, yellows, things like that. Um, this is a good starting place. You can say, you know, I want to affect the reds, but it's not going to be guaranteed that you're affecting the actual red that, that you want to affect, right? It's like all reds, but this is like a very specific red that we want to correct. So I'm going to show you guys how to work with a couple sliders here to like nail in exactly the red you want to affect, and then we can actually change it. So the first thing I want to do, I just need to see what I'm doing. Because right now it's like it says, okay, it's going to affect the reds, but I really can't see what's actually being affected. So I'm just going to crank up the saturation really, really high. There we go. So you can see now I have a pretty good idea of what's being affected. Everything that you know looks horrible right now is being affected. So what I want to do is basically, I want to change this range here to where it's only affecting the reds that are in the nose because the rest of the face has reds in it too. That's where this comes into play. This slider right down here basically takes whatever colors on the top and turns it to whatever colors on the top, on the bottom. And you can adjust your feathering here with these little sliders on these ends. See, it's like as I bring this out to the right, it's affecting more and more and more. As I bring it into the left, it's affecting less there. And as this middle part is like, this is the part that absolutely does get affected. So I'm going to kind of shrink that down. And then I can move this, like by clicking right into the middle there, I can move this to the right or to the left. So I can see here in the right, you know, we're affecting areas like around the mustache and things like that. As I move this to the left, we're going to start to see nothing. And then right about here, this is like the area that we want to fix, right? So what I'm basically doing is just like nailing in the actual area, the, the problem area. So that's that's it. Like it's highlighted now and I see that by bringing up my saturation that's what's actually going to be changed and just zooming out nothing else is being affected. The cool thing is there was a lot of red in the nose but I didn't really see it so much in the eyes and in the ears and things like that but it was there so this is going to help correct all of that. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to bring our saturation down to zero because we only had it up there so we could see what we were doing. So let's just highlight that and hit zero and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hue and we're just going to bump this over to the right a little bit. Now you can see if I continue to go over to the right, it's going to turn like green over to the left, you know, we're turning magenta. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this red and as I go a little bit more to the right, we're at like plus, you know, 26 or so there. It just takes that redness and it turns it into more of like a yellow color, which is actually what the skin tone would be. And this depending on how you know red your image is it's going to like totally change how far you're going to need to push these things but we'll just do like a plus 24 or something like that and what that does let's just turn this off and on i'll close this layer so you guys can see it basically just takes that red and changes it so it's not red anymore it, it's a really quick simple fix that just helps get the redness out and it, it takes care of the eyes and around the ears and everything like that and you don't have to use layer masks and paint it in or anything like that so it really does quite a bit to just quickly get rid of the red in your images and um, that's it for the episode guys just a really quick fix we hope this helps you out
If you guys have any other tips on reducing redness or other ways you do this, or if you have done this technique and you would like to show us a before and the after so we can comment and say, good job, you're awesome, head over to flurn.com to this episode where you guys can actually submit your images in a comment right down below. And if you guys like what we got going on here, this took like 20 seconds. We have pro tutorials on retouching skin that's like two and a half hours long of like golden tips just like this. So head over to flurn.com and check those pro tutorials out. Thanks so much, guys. Subscribe to our channel. Comment down below, let us know how we're doing, and share this with all your friends. We'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. I want this in real life so I can just hit a button and all my face gets perfect in real life. I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> a billionaire.